Field at M. Night Shyamalan for families visiting a haunted beach. Oh, you know the plot? Yes. Yeah. I was in it. I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With five of a shot clock, this Reddish has to fire one up. And it hits! Cam Reddish again. That's a two, had a foot on the line. Here's Hardaway for three. Williams on the move. Herder for three. Yes! And that's the nail right there, Bob. That's the nail in the coffin. It's also about game prep and film watching. You can see from the play that we've seen so far tonight, every single hawk that has gone in the game has been ready to play, and that includes Cam Reddick. All right, thank you, Steph. Thanasis, I think the football is uh, checked in, and now Mike Budenholzer clearing his bench. Elijah Bryant with uh, that bucket. Hawks do stay the same. So a couple of questions as we look ahead to uh, game five in Milwaukee. Herder is off. Sam Merrill with the rebound look out. Capella is down now. And this is why you get your starters out the game. And now Capella's still down. Holding his head. And Nate McMillan calls for the timeout. Looks like he may have taken a shot to the eyes right here. Yeah, an elbow to the nose, like to the bridge of the nose. An inadvertent elbow there. All right, we'll be back to get a closer look at what took place with Clint Capella. I was being held back to the locker room. And Chris Dunn checks in. John Collins goes to the bench. Williams with the run note. Changed his mind. Got it to Okongwo. And a, a foul is called. With down to 322 remaining. And the Hawks up 104 82. Looking ahead. Reggie to game five. The questions are out there. Will Trey Young be able to return? And what about Giannis to game five? Well, they obviously, with this series being tied 2-2 and Trey missing tonight, gets more time to get some therapy on an ankle turn over here by Atlanta. And we really don't know the extent or the severity of that hyperextended knee by Giannis. I'm sure he's going to get an MRI when he lands or tomorrow sometime. He was walking unassisted, which was... If you're a Bucks fan, that's something you wanted to see. But again, we'll know more about the MRI. Jordan War, looking at a Louisville's on the line, fouled by Skyler Mays. 25 years ago, Adam Iverson entered the NBA. Changed the game forever. VR and AI have uh, collaborated on a world tour collection to honor the, the answers, greatest moments. Scan the QR code or shop now at Bleacher Report. Shop.com. Had some unbelievable battles with that dude back in the day. Yes. Reddish lost it. And it's recovered. Not able to get to it. And it's put down by Mason Knight, the rookie from William and Mary. So both teams have emptied their benches. On the steal. Hawks back in possession. Reddish has remained on the court. His gun for three. Two and a half to go. 106-84, Atlanta. Sam Merrill gets it out. Vanessas gets a Kumbo with a nice pass. And Mamadi Iakite blew the stuff. Bays spinning and scoring. These young players for Atlanta. They play one way, and that's hard. And give Nate McMillan and his coaching staff a lot of credit. And that has trickled down, and we saw a lot of that when he had to go deep in his bench early on because of the injuries to Trey Young and DeAndre Hunter. 
Reddish committed the foul. Look at name. You know, people call this garbage minutes, but this is a chance for you to, you know, show the hard work that you do. These, remember, see, people don't understand. It's guys like this. They're the ones that are here early. They go over all the scouting plans as Cam Reddish gets a great hand here from the Atlanta faithful. What an evening for him. Yakite tapping from the outside. Reddish five for nine, 12 points, five rebounds. And his usual excellent defensive play. Merrill with the rebound. Laura on the drive and was fouled. Rookie out of Louisville. Second round pick by the Bucks. So a minute and 35 remaining. They're saying Hawks in six. Oh, I see. Hawks in <laughs> six. Bucks did cut it to 16 with lots of time left. About eight minutes to go. Lou Williams with his high point game as a Hawk, 22 points. I should say he's one away from his high game with 20, 21 points. Only his 40th game this season with Atlanta. Also had seven assists, just one turnover. Laura comes up short. And for the Hawks, it'll be their 37th win in the last 54 games. Okay, Mays. Yes, Scott Mays once again. And he gets a technical foul for taunting. Yes. Mays out of LSU on a two-way contract. I don't mind this, though. Again, these guys come early. They're part of the scout team. They got to go over all the plays for Milwaukee. They get very little love, but the starters know. They, under, they understand and they appreciate what a lot of these guys that are deep down on the bench, what they go through. So when they get a chance to shine, Wall go ahead and do you. Walla hits the uh, technical free throw. And we're final minute. Bryant with the runner, knocked out of bounds, and it will be Atlanta ball. Several bright spots for the Hawks tonight. Lou Williams heads it up, starting for Trey Young. Cam Reddish off the bench. Miguel Bogdanovich, 20 points at a big game. This is Knight with the shot clock running down. Manassas of the Kumbo looking to drive it to the bucket. And that's a goal, Tim. The basket does count. And the major story from the Milwaukee point of view, the injury of the hyper extension suffered by Giannis of the Kumbo. Standing ovation for Atlanta. So this series is all even at two apiece. Game five in Milwaukee, Thursday night, and here on TNT, 8.30 Eastern time. And then game six, and there will be a game six back here in Atlanta on Saturday night. Well, the big question, is that man going to suit up for game five? Trey Young, who's been fantastic in these playoffs. A bone bruise on that right ankle. He was itching to play tonight, couldn't get it loose enough.